Dear colleagues, this is how I fix the eyeball just with the help of a cotton tipped Johnson bar. And see, the eyeball is so nicely fixed. And now, this is the main incision, a 2.8 millimeter incision. And here it goes. Go forward for some distance. Now, I give support here to complete the incision. And I come out and there is no leakage of aqueous. This is the side port on the right side of the incision. No leakage of aqueous humor. And this is another side port on the left side of the incision. All the incisions are complete and there is no leakage of aqueous humor. How has it been possible? It has been possible by when you come out, you just don't depress the posterior leaf of the incision. Just lift the instrument and come out. And there will be no leakage of aqueous humor. Now, the capsule is stained with tripan blue. The dye is washed out. Little bit of adrenaline has been used. And this is viscoelastic substance, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, 2%. Beautiful viscoelastic substance. And now I have gone to higher magnification and I am going to do capsular excess. This is how you can fix the eyeball with the forceps. Very close to the limbus, hold a little bit of tissue and fix the eyeball. And this is how I incise the anterior capsule. Make this nice flap which is very easy to hold with a uterata forceps. Now I hold this capsular tag with uterata, go anticlockwise and do a CCC, a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. This is not a circular axis, but this is a fairly acceptable large axis. Now hydro dissection is done. The posterior leaf is depressed, some amount of visco comes out. Now I go to the equator of the capsular back and inject fluid. Now the nucleus is depressed. Some more hydro. And I see that the nucleus is mobile. That's it. Viscoelastic substance is injected again. If you emulsify the nuclear fragments in the bag or at the iris plane, there is no damage of corneal endothelium. This viscoelastic substance is enough. And now, the tip of the FACO handpiece is introduced into the entry chamber. In this case, I want to show stop and chop. I am sculpting in FACO 2 mode, but beginners should do it in FECO on mode. After going to certain depth, just apply opposite forces and the nucleus divides into two halves. And this is how you hold one half and chop it. This is a teaching video and every step is being done slowly to demonstrate the steps. This is how you hold on fragment and emulsify it. I am in FECO 2 mode. The machine being used is, used is Oatly Cataracts Easy 
Fecomation. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And ultrasonic energy is just 60% in this grade 3 cataract. Now this is the epinucleus. It is just flipped and came in a second. And now this cortical matter is to be removed. This can be removed beautifully by bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial irrigation aspiration. I usually use this very simple instrument, a Simco cannula. Now, The cortex is being removed. Before removing the cortex, what I did? I removed a epinuclear or nuclear fragment and that has to be done first because small nuclear fragments may get lost underneath the iris somewhere. So before removing the cortex, as soon as you see any nuclear fragment, it must be removed first. Now, very nice cleaning of cortex. The posterior caps looks clean. There is no cells. And this is how a hydrophilic, acry hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens can be implanted under irrigation. The irrigating probe supports the optic and sends the trailing haptic in the capsular bag. Now the side ports are hydrated and a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. And see how beautifully the viscoelastic substance from the corneal endothelium comes out. Here it is. You could see the viscoelastic substance came out. I go behind the eye and do some irrigation and aspiration of the capsular bag. Now I form the entire chamber and conclude the case. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Don't forget to check the wounds. There should not be any leakage from any wound.